Yo, what's going on guys? And today I want to talk about Kyrie Walker, the former Hillcrest star that literally nobody is talking about. This kid is dedicating first his journey to the me memories of Oscar Freyer and Terrence Clark, which is amazing. But this was a cat who was originally a five-star recruit in the beginning of high school. And by the end, he was a four-star recruit and he forego a bunch of division one offers such as Arizona State to go to the NBA. And he's been training with the program Chameleon BX in preparation for the 2021 NBA draft. He's six foot five, 240 pounds. He played for Hellcrist Prep Academy and Moreau Catholic in high school. And he's born November 20th, 2000, same birthday as my girlfriend. Dude, this guy is wild. You could say that his build reminds you of Stanley Johnson with broad shoulders and ball handling and ability to make plays off the bounce is what NBADraftRoom.com says about him. And they also have them projected as a possible second round pick in the 2021 NBA draft. I personally believe that he is going to be able to go into the combine and just prove that he's a freak of nature. He's going to show that he it moves a lot quicker than Zion, but he has that build of just being built like an ox and that you just can run and move and be a ball handler who plays a different style of game that due to his strength and playmaking ability, he can just bruise his way like Jerome Bettis did as the bust that those big players who are nimble like ballerinas. That's what I see in Kyrie Walker. And you could say that he has like, He's not like a super, he's not, all right, Zion's a, like a super and elite athlete. I'm not saying that Kyrie Walker is the same athlete as Zion because he does have like an average wingspan and he's more, and he isn't like, he's more compact and frame wise and he isn't like going to jump out the gym, but he's still very, he moves very well for his size. He sees the floor really well. He's a natural playmaker who sets up his teammates for plays by making the delete defense collapse in on him and he's also very versatile on offense he can either play off ball or he could play as the point as the guy operating the, the offense through him and like i said with this frame he has he plays literally this bully ball against small perimeter defenders making them literally either go against him while he's going full bull in a china shop just going to the paint or he really can just back them down and he has a really versatile offensive game i really like it he can push the pace and he's got good court speed for being a guy of his size 6'5 6 6'6 6 6, being 240 and i think he's a great scorer he can he's got great handles for again for his size and right here on draft room they said he has a very powerful dribble drive game and he walker excels at getting into the lane and finishing at the rim he's got the strength to absorb contact and is very creative with his shot and allowing him to score over length and, you know, obviously his biggest concern is that he needs to get more consistent with his outside shot and, you know, not have as like mental lapses, but, but he has the potential to be a lockdown defender if he puts his mind to it and has all the physical abilities to excel in the defensive end. So yeah, Kyrie Walker, holy crap. This guy drew national attention in, high, in the eighth grade for his slam dunk videos. And it's great to see that it looks like he's going to be going to the NBA, but people aren't talking about him. No one has him on their boards, and I want to hear your opinions. Why isn't he on anybody's boards? And, like, I just want to hear what you guys think. That's just, like, me. I'm just hanging out, just doing my thing. But, yep, yeah, puppies, oh.